What's going on guys? I'm Cosmo. Welcome back to Beam and G and Automation. And today I'm joined by Butch. Uh, Butch actually has a channel as well. I'll have it down in the description. But today we're going to be building some uh, trucks to race in the dunes. Are you excited, Butch? Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be a blast. Maybe a Baja blast. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm really excited for this as well. We have some pretty interesting criteria too. I think the major one that I think we should go over is the fact that we have a 10 liter engine displacement limit, which is just going to be ridiculous. The other limit is that we need to have a big body truck. Uh, how you modify that truck and customize it is completely up to you. But the biggest things are, I believe we said naturally aspirated, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. So naturally aspirated and, uh, you know, up to 10 liter capacity, big truck and make it, you know, make it capable of doing some off-roady stuff. Sounds like a plan. Awesome. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go hop into automation, uh, start building mine, and then we can regroup once, uh, once we build something. Alrighty, let's build this engine. 10 liter capacity though. That is insane. What can we even build that can go that big definitely not a three cylinder not a four cylinder not a five cylinder or a six cylinder for that matter although maybe because sometimes you can overboard these things right so uh let's just actually see uh what we can achieve here if we just uh if we go through here and then just amp this up can we get 10 we cannot get 10. We can get 8, 5. The question is, do I want to go with less capacity just, you know, for an engine configuration that I prefer? Or do we find something that is actually capable of uh, going to, you know, 10 liters and above? Probably like a V8. Yeah, a V8 easily. Oh man. Okay, I figured out what I want to do. I want to do a V12, but model it in such a configuration that it could potentially be a Jeep 4 liter, or rather two Jeep 4 liters uh, in the V configuration. I think that'd be kind of cool, so let's get to it. Let's do cast iron because that is what the AMC 4 liter is. I believe the stroke is 98.6, sorry, 98.5 and 86.6. There you go. That looks, that looks about right to me. It is a push rod engine and it is also a cast iron head. We're going to amp up the quality because we're not trying to build an engine out of the poorest materials this time around. Uh, so, you know, there's no limitation on that. We could actually overboard this a little bit. But I think I will only amp it up to 7999. I was hoping for a solid 8 liters, but I'll take 7.999. Now for the crank, I'm going to go with, I think, a forged steel crank. Uh, that seems to be a good option. Like I said, no restrictions on materials. Just trying to build a solid engine here while also, you know, making one that is, uh, you know, similar to something in real life. Uh, for the con rods, I think I am going to go with forged. And for pistons, I think I will go with Forged Heavy, even though Forged Light does give me better maximum RPM. I'm not really going for maximum RPM here. These engines never revved very high, so, you know, I think Forged Heavy is the way to go. Now, for the harmonic dampener, I think... Actually, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I believe the, the factory weight for the harmonic balancer on that engine is 4.5 kilograms. When I looked it up, I think that's what it is. So... If I double that, I am assuming that is what I need, you know, considering I have like double the mass going up and down in my cylinders now. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works, but we're going to start with a nine kilogram harmonic balancing mass and go from there. For the compression, the compression on those engines is 8.8 to 1. We're going to leave the cam profile and the springs and lifters for now. VVT and DVL. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> the RPM limit is, I think, much lower than that on the uh, four liter. However, we'll just keep it at this for now. You know, I think it'll be fine. Uh, we are keeping it naturally after aspirated let's raise the quality of nothing to five and onto the fuel system definitely go in injection definitely go in multi-point efi and uh, we're gonna go per cylinder right yeah i mean that makes sense uh carb size what carb manifold we're gonna go with our performance performance race you know what we're gonna go with a race manifold why not uh, manifold size, we'll keep it, oh, that looks so cool. We'll keep it, you know, regular for now. I can actually switch to, 
there you go all my charts nothing to look at yet though manifold size i guess i'm just gonna keep that as is for now i don't really know how to calculate manifold size i mean i understand that like you know smaller manifold size is gonna give me more torque down low that might be good but we can mess around with that later fuel looks fine to me now for the headers let's go with some tubular race headers header size 50 sure definitely gonna go with a dual exhaust you know more uh more free flowing bypass valves no valves exhaust size 50.8 sure thing cadillac converter none first muffler what's a muffler second muffler what's a muffler i guess we'll do like a bit of a baffle i don't know oh nice we have graphs now how much are we making right off the bat not bad i'm excited to hear this thing let's have a baffle a little further further back there we go amp the quality up to five what are we getting on our stats here the engine has a lot of unutilized octane consider using higher compression don't tell me what to do no this is good if that's the only thing that's like wrong with this thing i am super happy let's just listen to it start that sounds so cool can we uh, just do a pull oh god Oh god, that's so loud. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this sounds a little uh this sounds gnarly. It it sounds very angry. I I'm not going to lie. Apparently there's another software that I can like listen to the engines in that will give me a better representation of what, you know, that's actually going to sound like but even the curve is good i mean the torque falls off not falls off it kind of levels out it falls off at like 6000 rpm 5800 you know but uh up until 45 it just keeps going up so maybe i really should have my limiter at like 5500 uh that makes sense right the percentage of unrestricted exhaust flow used what does that mean does that mean i need a bigger exhaust okay so if i go ex oh exhaust size Amping that up is nice. If I bring the header size up to 57 as well, uh, the header temps are certainly cooler. We still have the issue of the unutilized octane and it wanting to up the compression ratio. Very interesting. I mean, I could just run less octane, right? Could I just do that? Just run it on like 91? <laughs> 85? No, it's still it's crazy. All right, well, let's, uh, let's run it on 95 regardless. And I mean, I guess let's raise the compression ratio just a little bit, you know, like, you know, we... We decked the uh, the head just a teeny bit, you know, just, uh, just for a little more, a uh, little more compression, maybe. Come on, that's the, dude. How much compression do you want? Holy crap, 9.5. I don't know. We're kind of getting up there. I don't want to raise the compression too too much, but if I raise the cam profile, I feel like I get a slightly better torque curve. I don't know. It is lower at the beginning, but then it sort of just pulls up higher at higher RPM. I don't know if that's a good thing. Like, I don't know if that's what I'm looking for, you know? Like, in the uh, off-road dune environment. Springs and lifters. Let me just raise that up to 55. Still have the uh, issue of unutilized octane. If I drop down to 85 octane, that goes away. But still, it like, it's still kind of like there. It's just not, you know, it's just a note. It's not a, not a consideration per se. Now, I suppose I could just run it a little bit leaner, maybe? Wow, how much leaner do you want to run, bro? Oh, there we go. <laughs> no current warnings. Okay. All right, let's see how this thing sounds now. I mean, I'm sure it's going to sound pretty much the same, but I'm surprised this kind of like worked out right off the bat. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds awesome. How much RPM can we actually get out of this? Oh, Conrad's are starting to hate life a little bit. Uh, 66, 66. If we can get it to seven grand, Conrods are experiencing high levels of stress. I mean, can I improve the Conrods? If I can get it to 7k, mint. Titanium rods? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I could run titanium rods. Let's go. Sick. Okay, how much higher can we go now? Oh, look at that fall off. Very interesting. Okay, maybe I need to stiffen up my springs a little bit. What are we doing here? The torque certainly falls off, but like the RPM is going to carry it, right? I don't think we're really going to see a whole lot of uh, extra power out of it past 7,000 RPM. Oh, unless I raised the cam profile a little. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all right. Ooh, 666. Should we run with that? Like on the dot too. No decimal places. That's That's rough. All right, there we go. I think 700 horse is going to be good. Let's listen to this thing once more.
my goodness, that sounds gnarly. And I do think we need to up our exhaust a little bit. There you go. Exhaust is happy again. And we'll amp up the header size, match the header size to the exhaust size. I think that makes sense, right? Just, just kind of makes sense. And I think we're good now. I think let's uh, let's customize this thing. Let's make it nice. And then we'll go build the truck. I think that looks pretty snazzy. So the red line is 7,500 RPM. It is a V12, 8 liter cast iron overhead valve. Uh, it's got a 9.1 to 1 compression ratio. Exhaust system, it does 0 to 60 in like 4.3 seconds. Why? You can read the brochure. The reliability is, uh, it's there. Uh, the weight, 261 kilos, 500 pound engine, more than 500 pounds, pretty crazy. I mean, for a V12 though, that's pretty good. Uh, we got fuel economy, we're, we're not gonna talk about it. Smoothness is 80, fantastic. Responsiveness, 56%, you know what? I'll take it. Performance index, I don't know what the heck that means. I don't even know if we're working with percentages anymore. Clearly not. Uh, cooling, okay, cool. And noise, well, I don't know what 71.3 means, but it's pretty darn loud. So I'm good with all this. Let's save this and build the truck. Okay, so for the truck, uh, we're gonna deselect all of these guys. Excellent. There's soft top trucks. Oh, okay, like Jeeps and stuff. That makes sense. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. Engine position, all of them, sounds good. Oh, look at all these. This makes me think of like an OBS Ford, you know, like an F-350. Ooh, that'd be cool. Okay, well, uh, we also have this modern truck right here. You know, guys, I think I have to do, I think I have to do an OBS Ford. Let's just do it. It's not gonna look like an OBS Ford, but it's gonna be cool. Oh my goodness, this looks so silly already. Panel material, I'm gonna go with aluminum. I'm gonna need this thing to be light. I feel like I gotta go with a semi-space frame just because, you know, I am trying to be relatively light. This thing's gonna be a very big truck. And, uh, and I wanna make sure that I just, you know, don't get stuck everywhere and dig myself into sand. Uh, chassis material, aluminum, front longitudinal. Hopefully I can put my engine in here, oh my goodness. For the front, I think I'll do solid axles, uh, and I think I'll do solid axle for the rear as well. Quality, five. All right, let's see if I can fit this engine. Nice, I think it fit. Drive type, well, I guess I'm gonna go with four by four. Gearbox, definitely gonna be a manual. Oh, nice, it fit it, it's right there. That's so awesome. <laughs> Good stuff, uh, I can't wait, cannot. I don't know what the heck is going on with the exhausts, but whatever, man. Not gonna mess with the gearing too, too much just yet. Oh, I do want a six speed though. Yeah, six speed is cool. Uh, diffs, definitely manual lockers, very good. Now the tires, I'm not gonna worry too much about because we're swapping them out in Beam and G anyway. So I'm just gonna pick a good old radial tire and uh, oh, all terrain, chunky off road, let's go. How is this chunky? Off this is not chunky, okay? This is not chunky. I'll show you chunky. Amp up the tire widths here, very good. Oh, this thing's gonna be beefy, man. Okay, we're getting, oh geez, okay, ni nice. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, this thing is gonna be rad. Under tray, off-road skid tray. For steering, let's do hydraulic rack and pinion. Uh, traction and ABS. I mean, I suppose we could do traction control and ABS and we can always turn it off. Safety, I think we're gonna go like 1990s safety. Uh, basic 1990s safety. <laughs> Perfect. Optimize weight. Uh, it's okay. I've already been optimizing my own weight. And the weight distribution, 50-50, seems, uh, seems good to me. Maybe, maybe a little bit more in the front. I want this thing to potentially take jumps a little bit nose heavy. I suppose we'll get progressive springs. I know nothing about this stuff, okay? As, uh, as sad as it sounds, but I'm gonna select the off-road sway bar because that seems like the right thing to do. Huh, it's cool that you have presets here for testing the suspension under different conditions. I need to learn how to read these graphs. I think that's what needs to happen. Huh, and now it's telling me the rear ride frequency is low, reducing drivability, sportiness, and comfort. Try increasing rear spring stiffness. The rear brake force is very high compared to grip. Consider decreasing rear brake size or pad type. Oh my goodness. The thing is, like, this software doesn't understand what I'm using this vehicle for, you know? So I don't think I'm going to listen to half of these. I am going to actually mess with the brakes just a teeny bit. It doesn't like the rear brake force, so, you know, we'll just drop it down a little bit to, like, 85%. Are you happy now? No, it's still not happy. You know what? It'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm not too concerned. 
I'm I'm not too worried about that. Where we're going, we don't need brakes anyway. Now it's time to trim up the body. Not a whole lot of body morphing uh, options on this, unfortunately, but that is okay. Really digging this yellow. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with that. I still don't know what's going on with this darn exhaust. It. Uh, I really hope this fixes itself when I generate the vehicle. Man, I am stoked on how this thing came out looking. It wasn't easy though. I struggled to make it look decent because for some reason, they made this body super tall. I feel like these bodies should end where this body line ends right here, but uh, that's not the case. I tried blanking out this whole bottom lip section and it also didn't work out very well. So I just went with what you see here and I think it looks pretty great. We got a nice lift. Uh, we got furred in the back, very good. And this thing is ready to go, I think, I think. Let's quickly go over the specs. It is a four door, obviously, got five seats, cool. Aluminum panels, aluminum semi space frame. We got a front longitudinal V12, six gear manual. Uh, somehow I have 64% front weight distribution, which is quite crazy. I'm gonna have to bump that down a bit. Makes sense, you know, having the V12 in there. Um, and then the total weight is actually under two tons, which is kind of crazy. We already went over the engine stuff. You guys know everything about that. So let's, uh, let's save this thing. Well, actually, no, let's change the weight distribution, save this thing, and then go meet up with Butch again and see what he built. I am, I am so hyped for this race. It's going to be sick. All right, Butch, did you do it? Did you build a truck? I built something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Me too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> let's see what you built. You go first. I need to see All the pros. Right. If you guys didn't know, Butch has done a lot more. More automation stuff than I have, so uh, you know he makes some pretty cool mods too. So definitely check his channel out. Oh, oh, so we here, got an event queued up. Here we go. We have the Dwarf Stranger, not to be confused with the Ford Ranger. A Dwarf Stranger, I like it. There we go. Oh man, I gotta get out of my vehicle and check this out. The so one with a little a 80s style, yes, 80s inspired here, and the nice cream and brown. Uh, that's Paint so cool. And interior. Extra oh. fuel in the back because, you know, we're going to be out in the dunes and you never nice. know when you're going to run out. Wow, fancy. Dude, this Big looks tires. awesome. Yeah. Oh, thanks. And uh, if you look inside, the steering wheel does turn. I know, you have a full interior. It's making me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for the weight production, right? My guy's sitting in one of those, like, milk crates and he's using a pair of vice grips on the steering shaft to uh, <laughs> to get around. Yeah, and uh, I can tell you this thing. Uh... What? Oh yeah, what do you got under the hood? Yeah, so- You didn't tell it me. It is 9.998 <laughs> Oh my liters, God, okay. And it is pushing uh what 900 nine, or yeah 992 uh horsepower oh my goodness okay it's a beast. <laughs> i'm a little overwhelmed but <laughs> that's cool oh what the heck okay bye <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying i was trying to see if i could rip the hood off the show yeah oh but, yeah uh, no yeah I, that that worked great that didn't dude. work out so well <laughs> that that worked fantastic for you <laughs> so what do, what do you got over there this is the uh third f420 and you can tell that oh. by the uh you know, deferred on the tailgate there, you know, if you, uh, nice. if you just take a look. Nice. Very nice, right? Uh, so I went for like an F-350 body, I guess. It's uh, very long, it's very big. I couldn't get it very wide, unfortunately, but I still think it looks pretty good. Uh, I did struggle with the front end. The front end looks like... Did you ever play uh, Grand Theft Auto V where they yeah. had like all those like mirrors for the scooter, like hundreds of mirrors, right? Yep. That's basically what I did to the front end of this, okay? Like, I, like, I'm not gonna lie, that's what happened, but that's okay. The coolest thing about it, in my opinion, is the V12 under the hood, which oh. I modeled after two inline Jeep four liter engines. So it's basically like the specs of a Jeep four liter, uh, but in a V12 configuration and thus nice. making it an eight liter, not a 10 liter engine. But because I wanted to go for a bit of a, like a realism factor, I had to stick with, uh, with, you know, with eight liters. Oh, you even painted your engine. I what did paint my engine. Yes, I did. Um, it puts out, I think like mid 700s. I already forget how much power my, uh, my truck makes. And I think it puts out around 600 foot pounds of torque. Uh, it sounds gnarly. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, so uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, th this is gonna be interesting. Oh, the uh, side exhaust, I like that. That's right, yeah. I got three on each side. I figured, you know, two per cylinder. And uh, yeah, 
I'm really excited to see how- Oh my goodness. This is where I need to lower my engine volume again, because this thing is absolutely insane. <laughs> should we do a, you know, like a hill climb drag race first? Is that what we should do? Uh, that sounds good to me. All right. All right, if you're ready, I'll get the countdown started. Do it. And go. Oh my God. Yes, let's go. No. Oh no, I'm bogging Power. down, dude. Power. I don't, I have no torque. I like have no torque. Oh baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that was amazing, dude. Dude, that was so good. Speed, but I just couldn't make up to the top of that. Dude, I was like shifting like a motorbike, you know, bam, 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 and then I get up the hill and just box in fourth gear, shift down, box in third gear, shift down in second, just pinned in second the whole way up. Oh, that was wild. Do you want to go again? Because, like, I misshifted, and, you know, now you kind of know what to expect, so... Yeah. I'm in high four, ESC off, full lock, and I'm good to go. Same here. The, All right. The third Let's is ready to rip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes, I love this thing. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. It's actually doing it in third gear. Amazing. Holy crap, yes. Oh my god, that was no. awesome. I Dude. My truck, I don't think, it just can't make it up there. No? That's crazy. No. It gets up so far, and then all of a sudden, it's just... So, like, does nuts, it just bog, it just or what? Or is it spin? It spins. Okay. The tires are just spinning. Okay, one more round, but go into your tuning and drop your pressure to, like... I don't know, like 15 PSI front and back. I think I already have it down. Let's, oh, do you? Uh, yeah, like, I guess let's check, see what's up. Is your like rear end soft or no? Or is your suspension pretty stiff? Barely stiff. Yeah, I think that could be part of the issue too, is like you're not utilizing your suspension to gain more traction. I'm curious to try your truck though. Bro, I'm gonna do yours in first person because like, you know, you actually have an interior. So is, is this gonna make it that much more immersive? Hey, what's up? It's my truck. Oh my god. <laughs> god. That is insane. Oh, jeez. Count us down. Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one, go. Oh man, let's go, baby. Let's go. I love this thing already. Let's go. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get some traction in lower gear. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Bro, I'm making it up. I'm making it up. Oh. I made it up uh, in it, your it, truck. It, it, it's 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 a skill issue on my end. It might be because I made my... it almost to the top. <laughs> oh really? Yours. Then I started spinning the wheels. I think I, I think I'm just hitting the uh, hitting the throttle a little too hard on True. The... Oh boy! Oh my God! Oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was a decent landing. Is this gonna keep driving? Oh, I don't think it's gonna keep driving. <laughs> not, I, I see uh, wheels flying. Yeah, not without two front wheels. It's not, dude. Okay, yeah. so the trick for yours is um stay in uh in m3 all right i'm excited for this the final race this is one for all the marbles before we go and do the rally three two one go okay he's doing it <gasps> he's finally doing it he's finally go, doing go, it go, he's go, finally go, doing go. it oh i'm catching up i'm catching up <laughs> Yes. Oh, come on. You didn't make it? It didn't go. It didn't make it. I did the exact same thing that you Dude. did. Dude. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to say, hey, we're going to give your truck the win on that. Sounds and good. And you're driving the win on that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All righty. I guess it's rally time then. <laughs> I think so. Alrighty, so for the rally race, we start right here, very close to the hill climb that we just did. And we go along this laid out track for us, all the way to where Butch placed one of his trucks. Uh, which should be a pretty, pretty hefty diff- Diftant. Distance, as is. Uh, English is a difficult language, what can I say? So, <laughs> I am ready when you are, man. Let's, just, let's do right. this. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Oh, go. <laughs> my clutch is not working that great for some reason, but that's fine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're quick, dude. Nice. That's crazy. Can I control it? Do Good something. Question. Oh boy. Oh, drifty Drifting. boy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, me too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's go. Very, a uh, very wide track we have here. Yeah, I feel like uh, this would be so much fun with getting like ten people. Oh, I agree, all dude. On here. How you doing there, dude? I'm like, oh my gosh, he's go, he's going a little to the side. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Dude, this is oh, like, that holy was an ugly crap. Hit. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's okay. I suffered the same fate. So what do you do? You reset when you stop, I guess? That's the, that's what we're yeah, going to do? Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm rolling on three tires, but yeah. Oh, perfect. We can reset when we stop. Excellent. Dude, I like, I run out of gearing on this track. That's my problem. I don't have like enough, enough top end to really wind out on here. <laughs> okay. I probably should have reset instead of trying to do this on two and a half tires. I mean, you could still do that. Just come to a stop and reset. Dude, this thing uh, the, drifts uh, like crazy. <gasps> okay, okay, calm down. Is that your tire? That's your tire. That's 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 amazing. What what a guy. Oh no, no no no, Butch, Butch, you can't screw me up, man. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Oh, uh, wall ride, wall ride. Freaking Tony Hawk Pro Dune Skater. <laughs> How you doing back there? Oh, I'm catching oh my back god, up. are we doing the mega jump? We're doing the mega jump, aren't we? Well, uh, this part isn't quite oh, the this, jump. This, this is, is a jump? No, okay. Uh, oh, now you have your option of going across ah, the bridge ah, or ah, jumping ah, it or going ah, to the ah, side. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, apparently, you took the option to jump it. I took the option to go yeet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there he goes. Go, 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 go. Oh, and my off god. The jump. Wow. That's crazy. Are you going to make it? Nice, I did dude. not land, but I. That's made awesome, it dude. Oh, that's great. Your truck is really good off, like, like on rally, like you said. That's amazing. Clearly, you're the winner for rally, and I'm the winner for drag. I think the only Swap sensible. Swap trucks here. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Oh God. Oh Jeebus. Oh. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Oh, geez, that's really deep sand, isn't it? This is definitely the wrong way to go. Oh, oh my I God. should not have followed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I think it's actually not clear whose truck is better. I mean, I think we should leave it up to the comments to let us know whose truck is better, you know? You know what? I think you're right. I think, I uh, think people should right. let us know, you know, who built the coolest truck, who built the coolest engine. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below, guys. Also, let us know what other challenges you want to see from... Uh, you know, from the two of us, because this is something we'd like to keep doing. I was actually thinking we should do the ugliest car challenge, you know? Just build Ooh. the ugliest car possible and do some uh, fun, ugly car challenges. So that'd be I kind of I think that neat. could be a blast. Yeah, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, so yeah, let us know what uh, what we should be doing. If you've got any map ideas, Yep. let us know for that too. It's always fun checking out these new maps. For sure. We Which never actually mentioned uh, what map this is. What map is this? Yeah. This is uh, Toxic Sand Dunes by the Toxic uh, BeamNG group. Sweet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. Let us know in the comments down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and go check out Butch. Bye. Peace.